So maybe you've just picked up the game for the first time, or maybe you've put in a good few hours and you're ready to learn what the game is really all about. This video has got you covered. As some of you might know, I have a series on my channel where I spend 100 hours going over a mechanic and then breaking it down for you at the end of the process. Someone suggested that tying into that series, I should make a video detailing the kind of things you should focus on for your first 100 hours in the game and how to set yourself up for success. And I thought that was a brilliant idea. If you are one of those newer players and this is your first time seeing the channel, welcome. I'm Thanovic. I post educational content weekly and I aim to help the community in any way that I can. And as perfect timing for you guys, a huge project and one that has come back with incredible results already is my new Rules to Ranking Up course over on Gamers Ready. Essentially, this course takes a player at any level and gives them the skills and knowledge to skyrocket through the ranks straight to the top. It's a one-off payment of $20, but using the code THANOVIC will get you 20% off. This course covers all aspects of gameplay and across all levels, and so I strongly suggest checking it out and giving yourself a massive head start over the competition. Keeping that short and sweet, there are a few things I'm going to rush over because they don't all need that much explaining. First things first, change the default camera settings. You don't quite know what works out for you yet, I understand, but trust me, change to something like this, change a few things here and there, and make sure to turn camera shake off and you're going to be in a much better state than many other players who leave them on default. Next, take a look at your controller settings and find the ones you feel comfortable with. The link to my settings are in the description, but as long as you're comfortable jumping and boosting at the same time, you'll be fine for now. If you want to make things easy for yourself long term and never really have to change these, which I suggest, look into that video and see how my settings feel for you. Next, we've got to talk about your car. Many to choose from, four you're actually going to see being used, just play the Octane until you're given a reason not to. And if you need a reason not to, trust me, just scroll down on the video and there'll be a decent amount in the comments. If you want to play like the big boys, you don't usually run a topper or a flag because it can be distracting at times, but you can also just do your thing dude, no one really cares. Next up, this free play mode. At first, I understand that it can seem really boring just hitting the ball around and it not doing much, but I strongly suggest just putting a little bit of time in every day even if it is just shooting over and over again. I promise you, you will progress and improve faster than a new player that doesn't do this. Sticking with training, definitely run through the beginner training packs that Psyonix provides at least twice a day. These give you a base understanding of the different aspects of gameplay and in doing so will train your fundamentals in different ways. Now when it comes to actually working on things in your early days, you might feel overwhelmed. You could be thinking, there is so much to learn in this game, flying, spinning, strange mechanics that I can't quite get my head around. And yes, that's completely fair, this is a game that takes time. You don't really pick it up and learn everything in a week. But that's the fun part. You see very early on that this is a long term journey and not a short term grind. You work over a lot of hours and you see progression. It feels more and more rewarding as you make your way up the ranks. But starting at the start, the main thing to focus on is getting used to your car and hitting the ball properly. You'd be surprised how many people just throw themselves at the ball and hope it goes in without really thinking about how they're hitting it and even what direction they're facing. Remember that this is a physics-based game. Hit the ball from the right-hand side and it goes left. Hit the ball from the left-hand side and it goes right. So learn to use your car to hit the ball where you want. Now an easy drill that you beginners can start doing is jumping in a free play and from wherever you spawn, try to hit the ball into the goal without it bouncing but without changing your direction too much. This means it's straight shooting practice if you're on one of the straighter spawns and more of an angled shot on the side spawns. Learning to use the corners of your car to hit the ball is also how you'll get the most power out of your hits. So not only will this be training your accuracy, but also your ability to hit the ball with force. So, you have your camera settings down, your controls, you're running through a few of the training packs and you have a small drill to train accuracy and power. Here are a few basic things to keep in mind when heading into the game. Just because you can hit the ball, doesn't mean you should. If your teammate is in a better position than you, let them go for it. If you and your teammate are going for the same ball, it is easier if you pull away early. Yes, you might be in a better position to hit the ball, but relying on your teammates to understand that in the moment is a big ask, and by both of you going for it, you're going to often end up being scored on because neither of you are there to defend. 
You can flip around the field to give yourself a speed boost until you get this trail behind your car. After that, you are traveling at max speed and no longer need to hold down boost. The amount of points you get in the game do not matter. Don't get upset if you're the lowest on the scoreboard as long as you know you contributed to winning the game. Lastly, don't try to fly for everything. You just aren't there yet and you will lose because of it. Take your time and you will get there with patience. So with all that in mind, you're in the game. From here, play a lot of casual. You will learn more about how everything works by playing as much as you can, obviously. But if you want to get really good at this game, you should be playing with the intent to improve. Look for mistakes and times where you might be the reason your team gets scored against, and then take that knowledge into your next game. Personally, I'm someone who really enjoys games with high skill ceilings for this reason. I love seeing improvement in my own gameplay, and so whatever new competitive game I pick up, I go into it trying to learn as much as I can as soon as I can. An easy way to do this in Rocket League is by saving your replays and going over key moments, like where you might concede or you might miss an easy shot. Going back over and watching your gameplay to see where you need to improve is the single best tip I can give you for every single rank. You can do this at Bronze and you can do this at Grand Champ. It literally goes for every single rank along the journey. At least watching over one replay from your session each day is going to give you so much to work on long term that you're going to improve insanely quickly. So that's your information for your first 50 hours or so. Now normally I just tell people to play the game and learn, but those are some things you can actually do to give yourself a good start. For the next 50 hours, you want to work on things that get a little trickier. Work through aerials and some of the more advanced training packs that Psyonix provides and try to push yourself to get faster and more accurate with them as you go. You want to start learning things like the basics of dribbling, learning to balance the ball on top of your car while moving with speed and while slowing down. Keeping control of the ball while dribbling is very difficult at first, but like all things, no matter how tough it seems at first, it can be developed and learnt over time. Small drills you can do is driving around without using boost and while only using boost. So this way you get the hang of where you need to position the ball during the dribble depending on your speed. Now dribbling and ground control in general is a massive factor when it comes to our next point, which is dedicating a lot of time into 1v1s. Now if you've been around the channel for a while, you will already know why I'm a massive fan of 1v1s. So when I started playing, everyone told me 1v1s were the best way to improve. And even now, two years from then, I'm telling you the exact same thing. Play as many 1v1 matches as you can. The reason 1v1 matches help you more than any other playlist is because you are forced to defend everything by yourself and attack everything by yourself. Each of your decisions directly impacts the game. You have no one to back you up, no one to save a shot if you miss time a tackle, and no one to help you if you miss a shot. 1v1 teaches you all the flaws and mistakes very quickly and Yes, because of it, it can make you very, very angry very quickly. But anger only means you're making mistakes. If you played a perfect game, you would win. If you played a close to perfect game, you would still most likely win. Once you start playing around average or even slightly below average, you have to rely on your opponent not playing well as well. This is why you should enter every game with this mindset of being alert and trying to focus on where you're making mistakes. It forces you to stay active during the match and stops you from falling into a state of playing on autopilot. Which unfortunately, is the reason a lot of people play for hundreds and hundreds of hours without really improving. If you go into each game just going through the motions and not really paying attention as to why you're doing what you're doing or how they're affecting the game around you, you're gonna have a really slow grind up the ranks and will end up hating ones in general. As well as making a load of mistakes along the way. Finally, to conclude, a mentality tip that I just wanted to give is that I understand that we all want to get to the highest rank, and you might want to get there as fast as you can. But this game, more than most, isn't one you can pick up and learn instantly. There isn't really a game you can come from where the skills cross over. You have to start somewhat fresh, which means the start is going to be a little rough for you. But take your time. Don't get upset if you can't get something down or if you're struggling with a certain mechanic. It takes a good few hundred hours to really get anywhere in this game, but the more you learn and the more time you put into the game, the more you'll get out of it. Your control will improve, 
your mechanics, your creativity. You can really develop your own style of play and further it the more you learn as you make your way up the ranks. Now, if you're looking for any more videos to help you improve, check out my channel and see if there's anything you want to look into. Otherwise, take a look at the course which is linked in the description and read through everything it covers. And if you are brand new to this game, that course is going to cover everything for you. Anyway, those are my tips for your first 100 hours in Rocket League. Thank you for watching.